The charge of perjury is what is known as the native speaker's trap. South African laws are governed by Roman Dutch English. We, the native speakers, are going to be prosecuted by laws that were derived from Roman Dutch, from colonization era, and from apartheid era because the cases form the law. Now, the native speaker finds, us, finds themselves in this problem. She or he speaks in their native language. That is then translated to English. The English is then translated further to legal jargon, which, which the lawyers will you argue, and the magistrate then makes a decision. That decision now has to trickle down to the lawyers, and then it goes down to the translator who then sends the message to the native in their home language. To understand this better, remember when we were kids, we will play this game where one will whisper a message to the one and then it goes to the next person and then to the next person and to the next person. Now what we found here is that the original message versus the message at the end had differed. And this is what has happened in Mambatabili Lamini's case.